All right, I'm ready. I figured it out. Your Lent mission challenge number three, should you choose to accept. Lent mission challenge number three? I thought I was coming up with the mission challenge for you this week. I know, but I came up with the perfect one. It's got multiple benefits. So you beat me to it. Okay. I did. We'll see what you got up to. Lent mission Let's challenge number three. Let's see if you can three. do it. Are you up for the task? It's probably not as hard as last week's bearing a cross. <laughs> you have 10. Let me read that again. You have 20 minutes to clean the dishes. Should you choose to accept? Seriously? This isn't a challenge. <laughs> Show them then. Okay. 20 minutes starting now. Now, that was impressive. It really wasn't a challenge for me. <laughs> I know, but you did well, and it's done. It is done, but what's not done for me, how does cleaning the dishes relate to this week's lesson? Well, the gospel lesson for this week is Jesus cleanses the temple. Oh, okay, I get the cleansing thought, but this seems like a little bit of a leap. <laughs> Well, you clean the dishes and Jesus cleans the temple, cleans the temple. He reminds us of what's important. Sometimes we find ourselves in messes in life. Well, and, yeah. <laughs> like our kitchen. And uh, we have to remember what's important and to stay focused and just turn to God and trust. And so that's what we do. And so this sample of cleaning the kitchen can be a reminder of whose we are and our baptism. And it can be a reminder that that God's going to be with us and help us get out of these messes. And, and it's also probably a reminder to us is why Jesus gives us uh, the commandments he does is that in our being faithful to those commandments, Jesus doesn't want us to just purposefully get into messes in our life. Right, exactly. And when you work on following them and you practice them, you're a lot better at them. Like you and the dishes, you practice and do them a lot. So you're a lot better at them. Well, before we uh, get together with them next week, we have one less, last mess to clean up. What is that? We got to put the dishes away. I can help with that. Okay, good. Well, we will go put the dishes and here uh, this coming week. We'll see it worship with us as we talk about Jesus cleansing the temple and God giving us the commandments to remind us of God's presence with us and all we face. See you Sunday. See you then.